All right, people, welcome back to Daily Duels. So before we begin this video, go ahead and put pause, put this video on pause. There should be like something up here and also be in the link in the description to the upcoming YouTuber Choice Awards. Uh, if you guys can go ahead and go over to that video and vote for me and Stanzi Anime Cast for the various categories that you feel that we should be, uh, that would be great. You know, thanks for all the support and you know, I definitely would like to win some categories because I went over there and it seems like this man named Yugi No No, everybody's voting for him. So I think with your guys' support, you know, I think that I could totally blaze through because, you know, I love you guys and you guys love me and you guys want to support Smeez. So thank you for that. So anyway, today we are using Volcanics, and to tell you the truth, I know this deck hasn't been on here long, but I'm thinking about probably taking it off. Uh, to tell you the truth, I really am. I am, I am thinking about just going ahead and uh, taking it off of here. Ah, uh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. That's fine, though. Do I want to send multiple scatter shots? You know what? Yeah, I do. Despite not you know, blowing anything. Oh, god damn it. I didn't want to do that either. You know what? That's fine too. Alright, I, I don't get to send multiple scatter shots, do I? Damn, that sucks. I wanted to send multiple scatter shots. <laughs> what should you do when it's someone you can target one of your banished or beast monsters and special summon? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> So, Ritual Beast, huh? Ah, that sucks. I wanted to send multiple of them because I have, you know, my guards, but... Oh well to that. Yep, you're gonna go for you. Okay, I'm gonna warning you. Okay, never mind. I got rocket. I got rocket. I got rocket. I got rocket. Thank you, sir. I said I needed. Yeah, I'm thinking about taking this deck off. Uh, uh, Volcanics were definitely overhyped. You know, I need I needed to see the hype. You know, people are saying that oh they're tier like 1.5. Yeah, they were up there. No, not really. They they're a decent deck, but you know they're they're nothing compared to the top decks. So what I was thinking about doing is I wanted to go ahead and try out and see a little bit of the OCG. And I was thinking about maybe uh, checking out, uh, oh my god, uh, what is that deck? What is that deck? Uh, Neptibus. Neptibus. I want I want to see the strength of Neptibus. Of course, it, it didn't get hit in, uh, in the OCG, and I wanted to just go ahead and see the strength of that deck. Such a powerful card to just be able to go ahead and just summon two of your ritual tamers. Yep. Here, I'll go ahead and take that card right back to my hand. I don't mind. So, I got three right now, and he'll probably do something to kill my rocket, so then I'll have four, and I, then I can just go ahead and uh, get my Royal Storm Guards. I've never really been a big fan of Ritual Beasts. I don't even know why they're called Ritual Beasts, or Spiritual Beasts, or whatever. Yeah, but so you're, you gotta go into your ulti Apelia to run over my Scattershot, because I, I mean, my Scattershot, my rocket. And that is fine. So, and you're probably gonna separate him again. And summon those two back again. And then go into your Kanahawk Searchy Birdie. Right? They go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's like, it's actually kind of annoying. You go effect and then you can chain to itself and then summon the monsters back. Yep. Yep, and then you go back, and you get summoned, and... <sighs> this deck is a fucking marathon of turns sometimes. And you're gonna try to destroy my monsters. 
What does he do? What's the turn you have? Oh my god. So go ahead and set your trap card to destroy me. R Ritual Beast have some marathon ass turns, I swear. <laughs> You know, some people accuse frickin' uh, Necros of having a marathon ass turn. You guys are just as bad. Okay, that's fine. Wow, where were you? No, I got. Yeah, I'll go ahead and. Pay the 500 to go ahead and get me another shell. So, it's pretty obvious that, that his trap is that uh, monster destroying card. That plusage, though. <laughs> All right, and then I'll just go ahead and set a whole bunch of back row because oh yeah, I'm fucking volcanic, so I run like a butt ton of back row. Can't get over that right now. So it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay. Breeze Dragon. Uh, I'll finish trying that. I totally don't mind finish training that. If that's what you want to use for your normal summon. Go ahead and use your fucking dolphin effect. Alright, now you're about to see the fucking strength of Divine Wrath. Fucking Divine Wrath so fucking powerful. Divine Wrath? Negate. So fucking powerful, Divine Wrath. I love you. Like, ugh, fucking Burning Abyss. You, you need to get your fucking Divine Wrath on. Negate any monster effects. Spell Speed 3. There is no fucking... <laughs> so good. Unless you got that Wiretap. And Wiretap hasn't even been played as much as of late. So, you know. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking about upping Divine Wrath over Phoenix Chrome, but I'm about to say fucking Divine Wrath over everything. Like, holy shit. Go ahead and activate Shell. So, I'll probably leave it to you guys too. You know, I'll, I'll even use the OCG's list and use in, and play on OCG terms, the OCG ban list, to see the strength of Nectabus, because I, I feel like I, I should know of the strength of Nectabus, I just don't. So, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead. I already know what that card is, so I'm not even fucking worried about it. Got pot, not planning on special summoning, so I'll just go ahead and summon my rocket. Rocket, go ahead and search me for my other reload. So I can go ahead and magical planter this reload. Then I can have it in the graveyard. Ah, that's a tough You know what, I want this in the graveyard. Because I could send the Phoenix Chain, because I'm gonna kill you anyway. But I'd rather go ahead and send that so I can have it in the graveyard so whenever I need to go ahead and wipe your ass I can go ahead and wipe your ass because there is nothing wrong with wiping your opponent's ass people all right just wanted to go ahead and clear out oh divine wrath I want you divine wrath so fucking good so fucking good all right so I can smash the British dragon's faces in smash you in the face for 19 I am surprised I have not drawn fire or ice hand this entire duel. Like, that is super surprising. So that. So that. So that. Did I already use uh, shell this turn? I think I did. Shell's not once per turn, though, is it? Alright. Shell. Straight plusage. Now I got something to pitch for Divine Wrath when I feel like using it. Or I could pitch Rocket. Because I'm all out of Blaze Accelerator, so Rocket's pretty much dead. 
Oh no, I can get it from the graveyard. Um. Um. Yes. Sorry. Send me all the scatter shots. Yes. And the reason why I can do that is because I have Royal, and I knew she's gonna have a big old booty. I know I was like, don't they have like monsters that have like two thousand butts? So let's go ahead and just get that out of the way. So yeah, let's game. I win. Ah. Them divine wraths though, like they're giving you the vipers, aren't they? The vipers. That divine wrath is so clutch. Like he makes so hard. It's so good. <laughs> So, the thing, the thing with returning Neptibus, though, is like, it would be like returning Mermels, and Mermels, ah, if you guys have not been on my channel that long, Mermels are the longest running deck on Daily Duels, like, they went from episode, they were episode 1 all the way to like 400 something, like, they were on the longest, and literally returning, putting Neptibus would literally be returning Mermels again, so, you know, I'll leave it to you guys, in the comment section below, you guys can go ahead and tell me, like, stick with Volcanics, you know, and... Or take off Volcanics for Neptibus. Because uh, I'm pretty much done with Volcanics. I get the gist of it. I think my opponent quit, but it seems like the shit is like frozen. So I, I won, pretty much. I won. Because literally, I can just go Phoenix Moon. But I already know what this card is. But I can literally go Phoenix Moon last, turn it back, and attack. So that's it. So let's go ahead and get another duel. Bear back. Alright, another duel. I took the deck just a smidgen. Uh, I said, you know what? I'm all hyping up Divine Wrath. Divine Wrath was at 2, and Phoenix Moonblast at 2, but I'm like, oh, Divine Wrath, Divine Wrath, Divine Wrath, fuck it. Divine Wrath is now at 3, and in exchange for that other Phoenix Moonblast, I put in a, uh, what the fuck did I put in? Your pot. Again. Uh, I put in, oh, another Ice Hand. So, now we have Fire and Ice Hand at 3. So, there you go. And that Divine Wrath. That Divine Wrath negate any monster effect. Field, hand, graveyard, extra, it doesn't matter. Negate it. Spell speed three. Whew. Upstart, that's fine. Blind space, my vanities, that's fine. Is that a monster? And end your turn. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, I got that, uh... Reload too. Give me the Vipus. Got another right pot. Uh, rocket. That was a hard choice. That really was. But I totally don't get. It. I don't totally don't mind getting another uh, reload. And I also have a 19 beater. So. You know, I don't. I don't like the idea of just throwing your MST and then doing nothing. Like literally. Oh, okay. You literally fucking threw your MST at me. And then did nothing fucking with it. Shut up. Uh, there's really no point in setting this right now. Honestly, the, the way it is. Divine Wrath, so clutch. Even when you think you were gonna get all of them fucking excavates, like, uh, how about no? <laughs> yep. So how about we just send them all and kill the mushroom again? Thank you. Get that shit out of here. You're not fucking excavating five. I don't. You need to get that to thick fucking head that you're not excavating five. Fuck you. Oh, sent to Dandy just to get some tokens to defend himself. Because I probably could have ended this duel. So, that wasn't a terrible idea. I'm going to hold on to this fire hand. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah, I'll just kill your tokens. Royal would be good. Starting to get some pyros up in the grave, so it would be awesome. Oh, that lone fire though. 
See, that's why that's why upstart is a good card because you give your opponent a thousand life points but you get to see that next card because literally if that card was anything else but upstart he would be one turn behind that lone fire you know and that, that could easily be the difference between winning and losing this duel so So, you got this fire hand to deal with. What you gonna do, sir? Yep, you're just gonna surrender. Alright. You know what? We got time for one more duel. So, bear back. Alright, let's go again. Of course I'll go first, because setup is important. Ah, uh, there's not much to do with this hand. I mean, I got the foolish, but, you know, unless I get the... Uh... The... Uh, reload, there's really no point in me really foolishing uh, a shell right now, which is what I usually do. It's full of shells, so, you know, shell can start getting going. But, wow. Alright, it's just gonna scoop it up. Alright, be right back again. Alright. Hopefully, I can actually get a duel this time. My opponent won't just run away. Do some fire into some ice hands, but it comes to territory. My opponent has no extra ducks, so I'm assuming, please. Oh, you let me go first. Okay, then we'll just sit there and go with the classic play. Set the fire. I've literally been doing that for like the last three days. Just set the fire hand, set some back row, pass. <laughs> set the fire hand, not the ice hand, because you may not, may or may not set some back row. What the fuck was that? Grave keepers. Interesting, interesting. Grave keepers. Ah, ah, ah. All right. By the Necro Valley. Magical Mallet. For one card. Just so you can neg yourself. There you go. Look, there's the Necro Valley. Drew another Ice Hand. Alright. Oh, this duel is going to take a motherfucking millennium. Because <laughs> I'm not going any aggressive and he's not going aggressive. Let's level 3 5. Guards. Ah, that's fine. Sun. You can get chained up, sir. Oh, okay. Yes. Joy. Yes. I sound. <laughs> get wrecked. You're getting wrecked right now. <laughs> so fucking wrecked. So wrecked. No extra deck. Yeah, the gummies and grave keepers all need to access the extra deck. Like, okay. That's what you think. Set a monster. <gasps> Shocker. Fucking grave keepers. God, I am not getting any of my traps. I actually have Photon Pack the Operative in here. That's so funny. Uh, it's probably a spy. You know what? I got the life points to spare. I don't even care. Alright, it's just another guards. Alright, that's fine. And if I can't fucking normal summon it again, like. It's worth it though. Set it. Look at that booty though. Ah, I hate dealing against great keepers just because they're just, they don't do anything. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, my god. I can make a Castell and spin that shit back to the deck. That would be a terrible idea. I could pack an operative his ass. Since I, for some reason, I run it in here. Fucking, I'll have all the ice hands, so fuck it.
Is it worth it to kill this thing? No, not really. I'll leave it alone. <sighs> See, this duel is going extremely slow because great keepers are slow. I was thinking it was spy, so there's really no point in running into that booty. No extra deck either. You gonna summon a descendant? Oh, you're gonna summon this bitch. Damn! Yep. Oh, then I can't destroy your Necro Valley because of fucking uh, Shaman. That's cute. That was a cute play, I must say. So I guess I'll go ahead and just turn you to attack position and, and get you and kill you. That was a, that was an interesting play you did there, sir. So I must I must I must respect that. Sucks that I'm not getting like anything, like none of my fucking reloads, none of my rockets, no nothing. I'm getting everything but what I fucking need, like. It's it's actually kind of funny. You gonna crash into me? I know you are. Great keepers are so fucking obvious. <laughs> They're so slow and linear. I thought you were gonna kill it and grab a descendant. Some descendant tribute your spy pop me like. Hello. <laughs> there you go. We got the descendant, but I guess you want to go and set this monster first. A reload would be fucking awesome. Like, can I please get that? Still, is going extremely slow right now. Extremely slow right now. Oosh. Drop. Shell. Shell. Michelle. I'll set these shells. It's obvious that he's gonna go ahead and summon descend it. I too flip summons this monster, or whatever it may be. That's fine. Pick off. Turn you up again. No, you don't have your fucking counter trap this time. Entities, huh? It's not what I need. Still. Still need a fucking rocket or a reload. This duel shouldn't even be lasting this long, but I'm not getting what I fucking need. 25 cards down now, I have not. Zero rockets and zero reloads. Like, without them rockets and reloads, I'm just a fucking generic fucking deck. I ain't shit without my rockets and reloads. So this duel's gonna go extremely slow, people. I apologize. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, fucking Jesus Christ. Now I can get into this duel. Because I wasn't into this duel yet. I wasn't in yet. You gonna do something? So what does he do? Oh, okay. So you're pretty much gonna try to change my battle position, huh? I'm glad that you normal summoned, because uh, now I can go ahead and, uh, fucking reload. Yes. You got your counter trap? Yeah, okay. Is that a scatter shot? Let's get a shot. Yes. Multiple scatter shots. Choo choo. Choo choo, choo 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 choo. Boom, 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 boom. The woman is slow. She has to be destroyed by battle to get her effect, but everybody knows not to destroy, not to attack Grave Keepers. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, 
see, once I told you, once I got that fucking reload, I was in this duel. Got all them grave peepers that can go ahead and... Wait, I can't. Fucking Necro Valley. <laughs> yep, Necro Valley would fucking negate me. So I couldn't even use my fucking guards. Oh, well. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Like I said, you guys could go ahead and uh, do that flavor for me. The link is in the description. Click it on that video. Comment, you know, best opening, whoever. Best, you know, uh, most entertaining to watch, you know. There's different categories. So you can go ahead and see the categories and go ahead and, you know, stay. You know, give a little bit of love to, to my friend Omega Chaos and to Stanzi, both of them, because, you know, I both want them to win at least one category as well, but me too. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, you know, tagging with Omega Chaos and Slate using Geralda. So, like I said, also in the comment section below, be sure to go ahead and tell me, hey, go ahead and, uh, you know, use Neptibus. Let's go ahead and see an OCG deck. I will go ahead and play OCG. Or, you know, just keep Volcanics on here and say, forget it. If it ain't, if it's not coming out here in TCG anytime soon, we don't have to worry about it. We don't want to see it. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow.